Sweden, uh, we moved to my father because he was he was immigrate to Sweden, and my mother stayed back in Uganda. So just a year after we moved to Sweden, she died, she passed away. So then I put up, put on a lot of weight, you know, like grieving, just not doing anything. So then my father was worried about the weight, so he started getting me up every morning, like running with him. And I remember like an 11 year old, you hate that, you know, training with your father and like training me hard and always shouting and everything. So my elder brother told me, let's come hang on and come, let's go train boxing. Then you won't, you won't have to, to train with, with, with dad. So I was like, whoa, I would do anything to, you know, to, <laughs> to get just to get rid of dad, you know. to London, started training in London. Where else? Uh, in Harrington, uh, Tottenham. Okay. Yeah, Tottenham, so yeah. So I just moved to Tottenham, started training over there, and then found a good coach. His name is, his name is Paolo. And we just, just hit it off and just started training and putting down a lot of time. Then I came back to Sweden uh, and knocked out the number one. Yeah, during the sparring, we were sparring and I just like knock, like knock, knock him down. Then the coach told me, well, all right. And it was 2008, so just like a few months before the Olympic qualifiers. So he just told me that I'm going to send you both to the qualifiers and the one that does the best will go for the Olympics. So then we went off to the qualifiers and I did well. I won and he lost, so you know, qualified for the Olympics. And then after that, it just, just like been going on WSP and all. I, I boxed all the four rounds and after a fight Peter B have told me wow very good fight you know because he was used to, to yeah. looking down everybody and I just stood up and did all my four rounds so I was really happy but sad to come all the way to the Olympics and then just get out on the first round so Twenty twelve Olympics I think I overdid it in the WSB because mm -hmm. I had a very good season for Mexico. So they wanted to get me in the individual finals. So I kept on they kept on like working and working and working with me, you know. So I didn't have the time to, to rest that much, you know, like coming from a fight mm -hmm. and always fighting away and you know fighting away is very difficult sure. to win. Yeah, even the traveling but you gotta you gotta fight, be on your peak the whole time because you are away mm -hmm. and it's very hard to win away. So always coming back from a fight, just resting like some hours and then going back, hitting the, the training again. So never got any real training. So when I got back home to Sweden just like a couple of weeks before the qualifies I was burned out, you know. I mean, when I started the WSB, it was a chance for me to see, am I going to be a good professional or should I, should I just leave it and just keep on doing amateur and then stop? That was, that was my biggest aim when I started doing the WSB, you know. That Koledish, yeah, no, he was a, he was a very good fight. I didn't know anything about him, cause I just found out a couple of hours that I'm go I was gonna fight against him. So we didn't know anything. Me and coach just went on the internet, just found out a little bit the way he fights and everything, and then just put out the tactical. I, I boxed really good, and yeah, and won. So it felt really good, like to fight again in in the U.S. because I want to turn pro eventually, so that's why I'm doing the WSP too. I was just supposed to fight in Europe and then like the last fight for the Americans, fly all the way to, to Los Angeles, but I did a good fight, the first, the first fight away, so now our play will probably will be flying in more and more and more, but it's gonna be hard because it's a long, it's a long trip. But as I told you, you gotta be flexible. WSB, it's incredible, man. You do five rounds, 
you meet the best boxers in the world. It's not like when you start like a professional, they, they'll just like get you someone back, like just to build you up here. You go straight into the ring, you meet the best amateur in the world. As you see, you could meet the world champion in the first fight, you know, like, and you guys are doing five rounds and everybody, when everybody goes into the WSB, most of the, most of the clubs, they come down and start training like professionals. So when you get into the ring, everybody's fighting professional, you know. Yeah. So, no, nah, you can't compare it at all. No, it's cool, it's cool, you know. Outside of boxing, I just like started my own company, like training, like a PT, personal trainer, like training people, going out, talking about nutrition, all those, those things. So that's something that's always been like close to my heart, like to help people lose their weight or like put on weight, like to just to see people like getting, yeah, like just the shape they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just getting, just motivating them to train and just like get whatever they want with with themselves, you know.